Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to Dawn of Man. Last time we left off, there was a terrifying realization, a terrifying reality of a fucking cave lion just wandering into our city, literally trying to eat our little boy. Whatever will these people do? First of all, we're obviously going to say, like, hey, guys, there's there's a, a cave lion in our group. It's, it's trying to attack. No, no, son, go. Go hide away. Dog is... Dog is... D the boy is under attack! He's, he's one of our most precious resources. They're like, oh my god, oh no! Look at the thing! Oh god, oh, the dog! Oh no, the boy! Oh, we like how as soon as it was hit... The dog was all like, rawr, 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 rawr. Oh, oh, taken down. Mur diddly urdered right there. Killed that fucking cave lion good. This guy's like, oh, jeez, that was spoopy. I don't, I don't feel so good about that. Oh, jeez, how's Horgal? I hope the poor kid's okay. Did he go hide somewhere? Shit, man. You're a man now, kid. I'll tell you what. Don't worry, that food problem is gonna be taking so long. Some of our people have n n no warm clothing. What's that? Oh, there's just people. It's the winter. And we are deeply unprepared. So we're actually really hoping that this goes well, because, uh... Horgal has tran- Oh god, no, child! He's got an infection. Oh dear. Orgal, what? What'll we do? Jesus. Last time it was Will Horgal survive. Now it's like, Will Horgal survive? Jeez. Who, who even knows what'll happen here, guys? We're hoping that Horgal will not die. It's probably in a tent. Vorkel. It's all good. Also, while we're at it, okay. So it seems that our morale problem is no longer, which is excellent. We are in need of tanning. But actually, we think this time around we're going to do sling making. Uh, because we are in serious need of getting more meat faster. Trader, Nice. Excellent, excellent. Give us the food. Oh, these are religions. Okay. To her, we should have known. So we're honestly curious if we just... Do we even have enough? We don't think we do. That's fine. We'll just take all of your food. How much you want for it? And... Yeah, give us all your food. Thank you. That is exactly what we wanted. Now, our people will not starve. As the spring comes in... 
Oui. Sling making. I just actually make those whenever. Uh. Merob died of hypothermia. Oh, poor girl, poor, poor boy. Oh, poor, poor kid. And there's a storm a coming. Great. Well, let's find more things to shoot. Um, you know, actually... That's a really good spot. And... This is a pretty okay spot. And we guess this is a pretty good uh, okay spot, too. Okay. Unlimited food. And we are so uncaring about how many people can work there. Just throw all of your worky people there. That's not true, just like three at work. You can keep going, sorry, we didn't realize we had uh, paused it. Good dogs. Animals with which to kill and hunt, murder. We need to find them. Doink. That's a bear. How about we don't? Cave bear? Wooly rhino? Holy shit, no thanks. Let's put this all back up to speed. Right, that's all. Are they repairing everything after the... Yeah, okay. Sadly, we have lost one of our children. But that's okay. Many more will grow in their space. We will have a mighty, mighty town. And we will learn how to keep from dying so much. Workload is too high. Reindeer has escaped. Well, that makes no sense. We're only telling them to kill everything all at the same time forever. How is the workload too high? Jeez, you try to provide for your people and this is what you get, right? Oink, okay. Try to provide for your people. This is how they pay you by complaining that you're working too hard. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. All around, bring big logs back. Eric turns. How was your nap? It was all right. Oh, it could be worse then. They say our workload is too high. We're only telling them to do literally every job all at once right now. We don't understand what their problem is. What about you, Eric? Mm. We're only telling them to cut down this forest and cut down this forest. And I don't know, but hunt these seven guys and make sure not to kill that bear. Would love that schedule. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> 
Wow, yeah, just do everything all at once and do it the difficult way. No, don't do it. It should have already been done, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The, fa the fact that it wasn't done when she first saw it. No, th th we love our mom. It's just she can be insufferable sometimes. Anyway, so far, this has been very fun. We've had a brief moment of hypothermia where somebody died. Somebody died from a bison attack, and some kid got infected by an attack from a cave lion, so... Oh, well. It could be worse. It's the it's the uh, Mesolithic age, right? Oh, Mesolithic? Yep, yeah, we got pottery. So now we can acquire water. My god, you've invented water! <laughs> <laughs> right. <coughs> We've invented the ability to carry water around, at least. My god. Revolutionary. Right. Isn't it great? Circa. A service tree. The fuck is a... Uh. Sure, okay. So, we need... Oh, we got a new point. What do we got a new point for? New population milestone. Expansion milestone. We like that the milestones take a little picture of your community as a whole. Our community doesn't look terribly different right now. Sadly, but surely. 100 logs. Wow, we got a lot of upgrading here to do. You look like a bunch of savages that need uplifting. Right? That's what we're trying to do. God bless democracy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you need a little democracy in there. <sighs> Very silly. Alright, guys, what should we do next? Eric, what do you think? Tanning or archery? Well, I think it would be much easier to get the hides if you can kill the animals at a distance first. Oh, well, we've been killing them at a distance for thousands of years, but... Yeah, probably. Oh, we can get both. Tanning. Excellent. A trader has arrived. What the hell do you want? They could give us grain processing for 150, but we don't think we actually own that much trade value. So instead, I'm just gonna make up with, away with all of their outfits and shit. No, we definitely can't do that. Actually, let's check real quick. Holy shit, guys. We could do it. We'd have to give away pretty much everything, but we could get grain processing. Eric, should we do it? Should you what? Buy grain processing technology from them for literally everything. You mean literally learn how to hit hit seeds with rocks? No, learn no. That comes later, Eric. It's literally learn what grains to pick that are edible. <laughs> oh. You mean if I take out this brown, hard layer out on the outside of the seed, the inside will taste much better? In theory, that's that's what the trader says. Yeah, he's probably nothing but lies. Yeah, I think you should learn how to pull your wheat. <laughs> how to identify wheat in the first place. Yeah. Ember or inkhorn or lentils. A cave bear attack? Oh my god, no! <laughs> uh. Whoa, it's already dead? Oh, we guess they are using, like, straight-up flint spears and harpoons and shit. Okay, well. That wasn't nearly as bad. We, You know, cave bears apparently don't have the oomph that ancient bison do. That's a bit of a shame. Flax. Oh, excellent. Some of your people have no warm clothes. Well, you know what? They should have thought about that before they became technophobic savages. 
But at least we have dogs. Just curl up with your dog. Everybody right? loves dogs. Everybody loves dogs, right? Right, Eric? Everybody loves dogs. Yeah. I miss dogs. Everybody misses dogs. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll. <coughs> yeah. Flint spears. We got ten of them. Most excellent. And we're getting stuff from the bear. Bear meat. We like how when we got attacked by a cave lion, our dogs totally went to the rescue. This is what dogs do. Because they're all good boys. Good doggos. What's our limit right now? 33? That is not bad at all. We, we don't feel bad about that. Speed? We don't think we'll need that. Food chart. Oh, when times are good, they're good. When times are bad, Eric. They're not so good. Oh, what do we got? We have no flint. That's fine. We probably don't need that many flints and stuff. Acquired sling. We're slinging at things now, Eric. Sling things. But soon... We will need bows and arrows. What do you think, Eric? Pear tree. Oh, let's... oh my goodness, just let us act. Yes, thank you. Collect tannin. Right, we can do that now. Where do we collect tannins from? Just from trees? Jeez, now we feel awfully silly about chopping down, like, literally all of those trees. Hey, Eric, a woolly rhino. You like those, right? Oh, yeah, delicious. Yeah, definitely. Okay. God, those things are woolly. Look at them. Look, look, at, look at her go. Just a big old woolly thing of a bob. She wouldn't hurt you. Horger has died of old age. And he died in the river? Oh my god. Come on, guys. Are you... No. No, they, they wouldn't do anything for him. Well, since we're going to make this the community center area. We need to make three more to have a sledge. Three more uh, knowledge pointies for a sledge. Eating. Got it. Fish. We are low on food. Imagine. Well, this being the case, we are now officially straddling the river, so let's build a couple little... We'll build a totem of the river. And we'll build it to the river. And then we'll build a house to officially say that this is our side of the river, motherfucker. And, you know, to keep people happy and shit. There's always that. So let's look at our primal vision, so in hopes that people don't die. Of starvation. We've managed to keep them from dying of starvation just yet. Let's kill this young cave bear. When times are good, they're good. When they're bad, you gotta kill a cave bear. Right, Eric? We have no flint. Cold. 
Don't worry, winter's almost over. It'll get green soon. In the meantime, just pray to whatever skull spirits you might believe in and, and hope beyond hope that you don't die in the night. Survive the winter! Yeah, what do you think about that, Eric? Nobody died of starvation. Nobody? Not this winter. We survived. Nobody's died of starvation yet. Yeah, well, it's easy when times are good. Oh, no, those were lean times right there. Times were lean, but we got through. We always get through. <laughs> and now a spring storm, because those happen. Some of our people need warm clothing. It's 12C. They can deal with it. Right? It's like at the lower end of the human comfort zone. Run around a little bit more. What's, what's this mean? Prestige. Oh, let me see. Okay, that makes sense. Well, we need one more point. And then we'll get sledges, and hopefully, from then on, it will become much, much easier. And also, we're now making bows. Bows! An Oryx? Kill these burrs with bows. And Eric has just started playing Enderall. Because that's how you do. Oh, yeah, we died. Somebody died. We're still one short of sledge making, which will apparently make everything much, much easier. Makes us sad, but... What can be done? So, is there any... Wolf attack? Oh, bro, you're not... You're not scaring anybody. You're just feeding the tribe and maybe giving a dude an infection. Because, you know, that does happen, but... Maybe we should just kill all the wolves and bears? What do you think, Eric? It would certainly be a pragmatic approach. Right? What? Maybe we should just kill all of the bears and wolves. No, capture them and put them in your uh, bear moat. <laughs> not that, that's not this game, Eric. Oh, right. Sorry. Just how it is. Well, that's too bad. Fortunately, we can collect a lot of water. That's nice. A cave bear attack? But it's... It's already dead. And now we will have plenty of hides. Plenty of meat. Don't let it get away. Bear. Yeah, I took him down. Cave bear. We hunted five cave bears. Now, surely. Can, can we get back? Where's the river? Here we are. Now, surely. Sledge. So, 
we have made things more convenient for our entire colony by sledge making. Now, we don't know, do we have to... We should make a tanner, like... Over here. Anything extra? Metallurgy. Transport! Make... Four sledges. Bam! And next time, we'll see how those do. Thanks a bunch. Remember to like and subscribe. Have a great night. And remember to stay inventive.